Hi, in this video, we're gonna learn the graph editor or the curve editor. All right, so here I get a blank project open on my phone. You can see the file name is the graph editor. And over here at the bottom on the plus icon, I'm gonna tap to insert a shape to our project. I'm gonna tap on this rectangle. So a rectangle has been added to our project with the layer with the name rectangle one added into this timeline, all right? So I'm gonna tap on this layer rectangle one and let's go to move and transform. And we are here by default on the position parameter. So we're gonna give some animation on the position parameter. So with my finger on this control pad, I'm gonna reposition the location of this rectangle onto the left. So swipe it onto the left like this on the control pad, somewhere about here. Let's position it here. And let's go to this diamond icon, which is the keyframe icon. Make sure we are at the beginning. So let's come to the beginning of the timeline of the layer. So let's add a keyframe. So let's tap and you can see a diamond has been added, which is the keyframe. So this diamond keyframe has now recorded the current position value of this rectangle. Okay. So this location has a value, which is one X value is 166, Y value is 540. So let's move a little forward on the timeline, maybe somewhere about one second and 21 frames or so. With my finger on this control pad, swipe it onto the right and let's position it somewhere about here all right and now if i give it a play you can see here we have this beautiful simple animation so you can see here the speed of this animation is constant from the beginning till the end you can see here the speed remains constant from the beginning till end so i'm going to tap on the rectangle layer go to move and transform and make sure we are on the position parameter you can see these are the two keyframes we just added now I'm gonna come here to this section called the graph editor. You can see here, there is a graph editor. So if I tap on this, you can see here, we get some options over here. We get some four presets of graph editor. So before I get started explaining to you what exactly is graph editor, very quickly, I'm gonna add a graph editor over here. So you can see right now the graph is linear, okay? Which is the first option, which is linear, means the speed remains constant from beginning till the end the speed is constant but now if i go to over here make sure the playhead is in between these two keyframes that we added and if i go here beyond this keyframes you can see here those options disappears because you should always make sure the playhead is in between two keyframes so there are no keyframes over here so the option is now grayed out but if i come back here you can see the option is now made available because the playhead is in between two keyframes. All right, so I'm gonna tap on the last option, okay? I'm gonna tap, and this is called as easy in and easy out. So which means it's gonna start slow, and then it's gonna accelerate in between, and then it's gonna slow down towards the end. So watch how it starts. So it's gonna start slow, accelerate in between, and then it will slow down towards the end. So watch it once again. So let's come to the beginning. And if I give it a play, slow starts, accelerates in between, and slows down towards the end. So this is called as uh, easy in and easy out. So I'm gonna come to here to the third option, which is easy out, which means it's gonna start very quick and it's gonna slow down towards the end. So you can see here, the curve is very stiff at the beginning and it's gonna slow down towards the end. So we have a curve. So this is called as easy out. You can see if I give it a play, you can see it starts quick and then it slows down towards the end. All right. Now, if I want, I can make some changes to it. So I'm going to make this a little bit more curvier towards the end. Okay. So it's going to be very quick at the beginning and it will slow down a lot towards the end, just like this. You can see how it slows down towards the end. It starts very quick and then slows down towards the end. So this is how you control the speed of your animation the way you want. Okay, so the, the second option is, which is the second preset, if I tap on it, you can see it will start slow and it will accelerate towards the end. So let me go ahead and bring it to the beginning. It's gonna start slow. It's called easy in, and you can see here, easy in, okay? So first is the linear, and second one is easy in, which means it's gonna start slow. And the third one is easy out, which means it's gonna slow down towards the end. And the fourth one is, the fourth preset is easy in and easy out. It's going to start slow and also uh, slow down towards the end. So you can always make your own curve, just like this. You can see here, if I want to make this the second one, 
if I want to make this somewhat about like this, you know, it's going to start very slow towards the, in the beginning, and it's going to speed up towards the end, just like this. So as you can see, the graph editor can really spice up your animation. And throughout our course, we're going to be applying graph editor in almost all of our projects, and you will get better how to use the graph editor. So I will see you in the next video.